Uh, joining us for the latest managerial interview is John Underwood. John, I said to you a couple of weeks, you're not a team that likes to score goals. Um, three against Eastbourne, four today. What do you um, know? <laughs> I know, I, I do know nothing at all, but um, that was a cracking second half performance. But the first half was really good as well. Great game. You should have been maybe one or two up by half time. Yeah, and second half, it was thing, a bit more clinical. Yeah, the, I think the only thing missing first half was a goal or two. I, I thought we were excellent from start to finish, um, particularly given um, the, the effort that we put in just two days ago. I thought we were bright. I thought we, our energy levels were superb. Um, and, yeah, I, I guess we came into this game. Obviously, Hampton's situation was the exact opposite. They hadn't played for 17 days. and and they were going to be fresher, but then also were they going to be a bit rusty? And we never knew, how, you don't know how it's going to pan out. I'm just pleased that I think it was probably our, our probably our match sharpness that, that made us sharper than them today, they're, because they're a good side. And uh, you don't often beat Hampton 4-1. They are a very, very good team, and they, maybe they weren't quite at their levels today, and I thought we were, I, I really did. Uh, but you do worry when you don't score. I thought in the first 10 minutes, we probably could have had one or two. They probably then have the best chance at a half when Northy makes an incredible save about 10 minutes in. Uh, yeah, we couldn't believe it was 0-0 at half-time. Uh, we thought we had the better of it. Um, second half started a little bit flat, actually, I thought. First five or ten minutes and it was a bit scrappy. But then that period after that, I thought we were, we were unbelievable. We were just pouring forward at every opportunity and scored some great goals. Uh, real cutting edge in the final third today. Um, you know, with two 18-year-olds up front, that, that's a, a really exciting partnership there. Um, yeah, it ends up being a, a brilliant win for us. Um, as managers, you still get annoyed when you let a goal in, uh, and that's just, I think all managers are like that, and, and we made a few poor decisions in the last five minutes. And um, But, yeah, um, Whistler Town, even at four up, we like to make it interesting. But a, a brilliant day's work, um, probably our best performance of the season. And it sets us up really nicely now going into uh, a big January. Um, it's difficult to choose a man of match. I know that Aaron Cole got it, but you, you really could have had five or six yeah. players on there. I mean, Alphonse had a great game, even though he didn't score. Yeah. Um, but the young lad, Tyler Goodrum, I know that you've seen him play for Hayes and Yedding. He's a player yeah. that you've liked. You yeah. managed to get him in. Um, yeah, Ty and you were chatting to the manager after the Oxford City game, the Oxford United yep. manager. Um, got to be pleased, whatever you said must have been fantastic. Oh, delighted. Yeah, he's been on our radar actually since pre-season and um, just because of where we were with our squad, we didn't take him in August and he went to Hayes and did great and we tried to get him again and then because of their cut run he stayed an extra month. So he, he's been one that we've been talking to them about and obviously they wanted him to step up another level. So we're delighted to get him. He's, he's um, fitted in straight away. He's a lovely lad, cracking attitude. Um, and he's not just, you know, he's an exciting player in the final third, but he works hard as well. And, and, and as you know, that's, that's so important to us. And he, he tracks back and he competes for a little lad, he competes. Um, but that goal of his today was, was top draw. It was a great bit of play from, from Cooley. Uh, his first touch was brilliant and he was really calm with his finish. So it's exciting, it's exciting. And, you know, Alfonso's been exciting us and he was very good today. But, um, yeah, them as a pair looked very good. I, I, I probably... I don't like picking out individuals because I thought it was a real good team performance. I can see why Cooley got it. I thought Cooley was everywhere today. Um, got a great goal himself, set one up. Um, yeah, but but throughout throughout we were excellent. I don't want to pick any more out because I missed somebody, but everyone did their job. And even, even as I said, Northy with that save on 10 minutes and the game could be different if he doesn't save that. Um, I will pick someone out purely for um, a different kind of reason. But Guy Hollis, we, we know that he's got a long throw. We know that he's a great defender. His last goal for Stale before today was the 26th of December 2018 against Wheelstone. Yep. And he pops up with a, yeah. a header, which uh, he doesn't normally get that many chances with a free header. But he's No, he doesn't, because um, he does attack the ball well defensively. He's an aggressive lad, but you don't often see him get on the end of those corners. And uh, it was lovely to see him get that goal. And maybe show one or two people he's not just a, a, a player with a long throw. He's got a little bit more to him. I thought he was excellent today, Guy. Um, yeah, lovely to see him score. Uh, yeah, the biggest shock is that we got four and Alfonso didn't score, but um, nice to see those goals. I think they were shared around, weren't they? I, yeah. I lose track. Uh, Paul, Cooley, Guy, Tyler and Lynchy. Yeah, great to see Lynchy score as well. I thought Lynchy put in a good performance today um, and he deserved a great play from Tyler, great cross, but that's what Lynchy does, up and down, up and down. He got himself in the box, so pleased for him as well.
Um, I know that we've always said here at Slough that our fans are fantastic, but the noise in that second half when you were attacking the goal was amazing. Mm. Maybe we could do with a few more coming to games <laughs> and uh, make it an even better atmosphere. Funny you say that. Me and Bakes have been talking about it, and I mean the atmosphere was brilliant today. So it's clearly I'm not saying anything about anyone that was here because they supported us brilliantly today. We we do feel that the numbers should be a bit a bit more than they are. I think our form here now is something like six wins in seven, and the one we didn't win was the late Concord goal. So we're in brilliant form here. Um, we're one of the form teams in the league, um, and the club are doing what they can to put on incentives and things like that. So yeah, we were we we kind of hope we might get four figures today, and, and I don't know why that is. Hopefully, you know those that all came today will want to come back, and and that that can grow if we continue our form. We can grow that because yeah, the atmosphere was brilliant today, um, and and we do really appreciate it. And they were great. Uh, I, th I just th I feel it's 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 building the support and, and the noise levels. I think we're getting back to in terms of noise levels where we were two years ago, if you like, pre-COVID. We do look. We do need a few more numbers, um, and but we're doing all we can on the pitch, and the club are doing all they can. So I just hope people can encourage friends and family to come down and, and get even more here.